this is Hero again. I just got through with the workshop with Chuck. Uh, you remember Chuck, he's been uh, on our program a number of times. And looking back at what he brought, you could see that, well, if it was not in the middle of May, that is a good looking tree. But it's in the middle of May and it should be all leafed out. I took it out of the pot and to see what might have happened to it. Well, remember the pot was quite large and he said he repotted this about a little bit over a year ago and um, basically he did the right thing but maybe slightly wrong technique. Let me explain. explain what might have happened. Of course, a lot of this is a guess on my part, but he got this from here uh, probably a couple years ago. And what we discovered was my soil mix uh, is good for most of us within the Central Valley where it's very hot and dry. But he's at the elevation that is um, 2,500 I think he said and so it's cooler and wetter in my soil into a, a slightly bigger container with his mix. What we found out that he has to use a different mix than here and you know one of the subjects that um, we talk about is about the soil and you have to know what the soil mix is all about because although the subject could be boring but it's very important because of uh, the health of the plant. Well, anyway so he has his own mix for his particular climate. As there is no such thing as a perfect uh, universal bonsai mix, soil mix. Uh, mine works well for us that are in the interior valley where it gets very hot and dry. So because it's three parts compost, one part sand, one part lava rock, it retains the moisture. Well, in his case, he can't retain that much moisture because he's cooler and wetter. Okay, so we understood that, he understood that, and he has his own mix, which is great. Okay, so what happened? Well, he, He's been taking lessons from different people and what he has learned in the past is to trim the outside edge and then put it in a repot. His mix I have my mix and they're not compatible. And so what he should have done was instead of cutting and changing he should have taken the rake and raked this out and get rid of as much of my soil as he could and then take part of that, mix it so that he has the transition from my soil to his. Then it would have re-rooted. Well, what I found out after I took it out and washed this part and then I took the new part with his new soil and washed it out and there was no indication of any of my or any of the root into his soil. That's why it acted like it was in a undersized container and then with a, I think combination of summer stress and winter. I'm not sure exactly when it it actually died but I saw that the soil mix was not in good transition and so yes uh, some people think that the subject of soil is boring but it's very important in terms of the overall health of the plant so hopefully uh, in the future if he has to do this if he brings it to me rather than just doing it at home it would uh, I could at least catch that so this part here 
it's all my soil and then I think it used to be in a container like that and he just cut and put it in and so if he was in our area and we did this my soil and my soil in our area it would have been perfectly fine but he's in that different area where it gets too much cold longer and wet it needed to go into his own mix but he needed to get that transition that's i think the best guess i could it could have been something else but that's the best guess based on what i see well you know i wish i didn't have to make these kind of videos where uh, things have failed well but it's part of reality it's part of our learning experience and hopefully that in the future uh, we won't have this kind of problem but i thought it was very important and chuck thought too to um, bring it in and then figure out what went wrong and then see if we could avoid the problem in the future okay so this is the very best that I could come up with in terms of what had happened um, a lot of people don't like to admit this and he could have just say well it died but he knows what I'm trying to do so he brought it in and I did have to study for a while and I think that the conclusion I came up with probably is most logical uh, the transition from my soil to his was too drastic so anyway uh, hopefully uh, we don't make too many more of these but if uh, it comes out I will tell you because that's part of the overall learning experience so this is Hero saying goodbye hopefully see you again real soon with much happier uh, subjects okay so anyway, this is why Chuck's uh, Chinese Elm failed.